Now, a longtime partner of RIM is IBM, and we're happy that they've jumped in actually with both feet, expanding and optimizing their suite of applications for Playbook's larger form factor and more powerful computing ability. To tell us a bit about what they have in the works, please welcome, from IBM, Vice President of Business and Technical Strategy, Kevin Cavanaugh. Morning, Kevin. Hi, Alan. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So IBM has always been a leader in social business. So what do you see for the future of the social business? Well, today, social business applications are having a huge impact on all, in, all facets of enterprises, customers, partners, suppliers, and employees. And that's because social business delivers the right content and expertise to the right people. And it accelerates how they get work done. IBM research shows that 95% of organizations that stand out as industry leaders, they're already using social applications to get closer to their customers. And business leaders tell us that the most important leadership quality today is creativity. And that begins by finding the right people for the right task and assembling teams, no matter where the key, key personnel may be, at their desk, on the go, anywhere in the world. So you, th you see this as a persistent trend in the industry then? Yes, yeah, social business benefits, they're real and they're available today. Here you see a few of the companies that are already leading the way and they've differentiated themselves from their, com from their competitors because they're more engaged, more transparent, and they're more nimble. And they're more connected to their customers, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely they are. And RIM holds the clear advantage when it comes to ready-made enterprise-grade security policies around Blackberries. And that's why CIOs trust BlackBerry devices and the infrastructure around them. So how are you going to enhance your support of the BlackBerry platform? We plan to enhance our social business applications, including our cloud-based productivity suite, connections and notes. Mm -hmm. And with Cognos Mobile, we're building social analytics. That means secure, timely, personalized information for decision making on the go. Sounds really good. Do you have something to show us? Yeah, let me show you how I can use IBM Connections up on the screen there to identify the right colleagues to assemble a team to take advantage of a business opportunity. I can easily identify their skills and availability. Here I can see the expertise that Jasmine brings and the project that she's working on. I can also use social analytics to identify other people that I don't know who may be right for the team. Now, I've identified the people I want for my project team, and if you're like many companies today, your team may be in many places around the world. Yep. So I need to create a place where I can meet and share ideas. And by the way, my finger isn't that big except on the screen. Using my playbook, I've created a community where I can bring together all the experts I need to get the job done. I can scan through the images and activities and documents, and I can dive deeper to find a particular document that I'd like to collaborate on with my team. And if you're like me, you seldom work on a document alone. It's more of a collaborative process, leveraging the insights and expertise of the whole team. And so how would you do something like that on a playbook? Well, with a playbook, you don't need a heavyweight editor to make the changes you need. Here, I'm using Symfony web-based editors that run right on the playbook. This way, I can make changes from anywhere at any time. Now, let's take a look at the presentation that the team was putting together. As you can see, highlighted in blue, while I'm doing the editing, one of my colleagues is also working in exactly the same document at exactly the same time. So you're just in your browser, and you're actually collaborating with somebody across the country. That's right, and I can concentrate on graphics while she works on the tasks. And I can also change the overall look of the presentation anywhere at any time. Of course, I can do wow. all this no matter what platform my enterprise is running on. Whether you're the CEO or CMO, the head of sales, product development, head of HR, this playbook allows you to harness the creativity and expertise across your organization. Since you all have your own playbooks now, you'll see how easy it is to access your full enterprise applications and your social business work network even when you're on the go. And I can do all of this on my torch as well. So I hear there's one other thing you want to announce today. Yeah, one other thing is today IBM Global Financing announced it's expanding financing to include tablet computing. We're the first captive IT financier to do so. So this removes a really key barrier to enterprise deployment costs. 
Offering low interest financing on tablets means that clients can reduce the upfront cash outlays and better match their payments to the benefits they get. So together, I think IBM and RIM, we're accelerating enterprise-ready mobile solutions. That's really fantastic. Thank you very much, Kevin. Great. Thanks, Alan. Let's take a look at Android app compatibility for the playbook. Join me in welcoming Nedim Fresco from RIM. How are you doing, Al? How are you doing, Nedim? Um, so, um, so how's okay. Android going to work on playbook? So yeah, I'll show you a couple of things. Uh, let's just make sure that the screen is up there somewhere instead of me describing it. That's right. Wait, 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 wait. There we there go. There we go. OK, so uh, what better way to start a player than uh, with a player application? Um, so before I start with uh, the applications, I want to say a few words about how the applications are integrated on Great. the playbook. So um, first of all, applications are applications, and we make our applications look uniform. So every application you see here is an Android so, application. So, so these are all Android applications. All Android and applications, and they appear in the home screen like any other application. So that's the first thing to point out. It's kind of what you'd expect as an end user, right? Exactly, and you, right. you really don't want to confuse your users, right? Yep. The second thing is, well, Android devices have buttons, and we don't have any buttons. So how right. are we going to do menus, and how are we going to navigate, right? right? So that's the next thing to show. So here's a sample application. Well, if, we want, if I want to see um, options, I do my top to bottom swipe. That's how it Great. works in um, um, pretty much every app uh, in, in Playbook, and that's how we do it. Great. If so it's I totally to, integrated there. Yeah, totally so, integrated. So we've, ma we've mapped the Playbook gestures right. into exactly. the Android player. Great. Home is home, and um, menu is menu. And finally, there's a navigation bar at the top for, for back. So mm -hmm. if you want to go back, you can actually do that. So uh, without, but, but that's a real yeah. working app, right? This oh, isn't yeah, just a mock-up. Oh, yeah. Let's do something. Yeah, let's just uh, start playing with some apps. So here's a little music player app, very silent, but OK, good. Right, and it works. It has other super exciting features, like a uh, drum. Let me do this. Oh, you're right. Real very talented cool. work, real Thank talent. Thank you. Thank you. I had good. to do that. I'm yep. impressed. So um, you know, this is a piano application. So from an end user perspective, because everyone's going to be wondering, you know, how is this going to help the app catalog? How hard is it to get these apps into the player? Well, here's the interesting thing. So I'm going to show a couple more apps. And in, in, in none of these apps did we have access to any source. In fact, the ISVs didn't even know that we were doing this until we asked for permission to show it on okay. the show floor. OK, you said that we got permission. It's OK, no lawyers. Way. It's OK, we have Covered. permission. Yep. So um, yeah, so they gave us permission, but, but we didn't have the source. We just took the binary package, and they just worked. They just worked. So, That's fantastic. Well, let's take a look at another one. So uh, here's a 250 solitaire games application for those um, obsessive solitaire players out there. So um, now let's uh, actually get it to uh, deal. Uh, let's see. You know, and while it's dealing, you know, let's go pick another application here. There's another one. Very, very uh, interesting application here. Just follows your thumbprint with some enticing music. And Swarm as well. Very cool. So this is just working out of the box. Let me just show you a couple more that are more, uh, you know, complex. Sure, let's do it. Here's an IMDB application. So this basically shows you, you know. OK, so this is a live app. This is actually connecting out through the networking um, infrastructure absolutely. It's playbook. It's Wi-Fi connected. It's a live app. Beautiful. It's the real thing that you would actually play with in, on any Android um, device out there. So you know, let's take a look at a random show. Mm -hmm. My kids tell me it's good. Of course. OK, yeah. sure. Hint, hint, wink, wink. OK, it's a bunch of pictures. You know, actually look Very at great. the great performance. show. Oh, all live and connected. Here's another app. This one's called Game Center, which is basically a um, video game review site. Okay. So we can actually see um, the most popular video games out there. You can actually see um, user ratings and uh, availability, et cetera. You, know, you can see screenshots. Once again, performance is great. All right, we so have... I, got, I got one more question, because I'm sure it's on the audience's mind. How do we get these Android apps? Well, the way you get them is through App World. So, so one app experience. One app experience, and this is how you get it. 
Uh, let me just show you that as well. So this is our um, you know, App World um, evaluation server. And um, there's a couple of the apps that I showed. IMDB, for example. Here it is on App World, ready to download and install, just like any other app. Oh, that's fantastic. So That's really well integrated. That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ned. I right. appreciate Pleasure. it.